All right, TikTok, I am stoked. It's 10.47 at night. I've been going on this truck since Friday. No sleep, no breaks, no stops. She was a roughin', just in sandpaper. We have this full five gallon pail, and there's no doubt there's well over 100, 320 grit pads, and well over 100 of 180 grit. And I know that because I opened up two bags of 50, and they were both empty by the time I got to the last step that I did out. I'm very impressed with the quality we got out of this truck. Um, the wheels are actually not so much of a name brand, but I was able to pull an amazing shine out of these, I think. Um, it's an incredible gloss. Great, great, great clarity out of these things. I'm very, very happy with the clarity out of all of these wheels. Um, these steers, this was an Alcoa normal. It was actually an uh, accurate, or uh, my bad, Durabrite. We stripped it. Brought it back, made it into a mirror finish. I'm super happy with the clarity I've been getting polishing. Um, I ended up changing the way I polish quite a bit. Um, I've been kind of going back to the basics of polishing and trying to refigure how I was doing it because I've noticed the clarity that if you look at what King O'Bling is getting out of his stuff. And I'm not going to say I'm trying to be better than him by any means. He's a master of his art, but um, I saw what he was getting. And I'm going to be honest, if he can get it, I can get it. Um, this tank is extremely glossy it's very full of dust right now i'm very 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 happy with the results i got um maybe some point i'll say what i'm using i ended up switching up all of my rogues i'm trying a bunch of different new rogues a bunch of different wheels i'm trying a lot of different stuff and uh, the combination i just found on this truck i am very 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 happy that chrome cap completely matches the rim zero doubt about it um very 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 happy on this we did the breathers on this truck they didn't come off so they're not absolutely pitch perfect because working on the straps is pretty hard with hashing but um i'm super stoked to work with this company on these trucks um i'm really hoping when this thing ends up in the daylight it looks gorgeous if it doesn't i stand by my word it buys everything i will come up and fix whatever might be a little messed up um, as a polisher, I've always learned LED light can trick you very easily. Um, you might find a line in a tank. You might find a hazy area you don't like. Um, so as a polisher, always let your customers know about it. Um, there's always little stuff, but very, very happy with this project. Um, cannot complain. This was an AccuRide steer, uh, not Alcoa, but still came out awesome. I didn't put the cap on that yet. Um, same with the piece that goes in here. That's the company's deal, not mine. I'm not the mechanic for the truck, but this tank as well came out incredible. There's a strap that goes there, but again, mechanic, I know they're doing new hardware, so I'm letting them take care of that. Do out this box, that box on the deck. Um, again, for the time I have into this, uh, probably 30-something hours, I'm very impressed. The, uh, the tanks were very pitted. Wheels were very pitted, and... Honest to God, I don't think it would be possible one man show to do this truck in eight hours. This truck was all of a two, three day project and we were able to get it done. It's Saturday, 10.51, we started Friday at two o'clock and we're straight through and uh, I'm stoked on it. Kind of rambling on now, but there's the story up here, TikTok. It's gonna be some really cool co things coming with this company and I really hope to bring them some quality work. Get to it.